You know, somebody said that marriage is really the combination of two very, very good forgivers. <laughs> and uh, I think there's a lot of truth in that because yeah. you can't go too far in a marriage relationship without a dose of forgiveness here. Yeah, I mean, it's just inevitable in the dance of marriage, we're going to step on each other's toes. There is no way we're going to be able to do this perfectly. Right. So how do you forgive one another? How do you do that in a way that's meaningful? Uh, because it's not just a matter of just kind of toss, you know, hey, I forgive you, you know. Yeah, and one of really the things to... is understand what forgiveness really is because forgiveness is sort of surrendering the right to hurt back when yeah. you have been hurt and you didn't deserve it. Right, that's an important thing to keep in mind, surrendering your right to hurt back. That's what forgiveness is all about. Mm -hmm. And there's times in our relationships, of course, where we need to ask for forgiveness. Mm -hmm. And that's really what invites that. And, and times that we need to offer it, whether it's asked for or not. Because yeah. really, I mean, we all know this, but it's absolutely true. The person that benefits from forgiveness is the forgiver. I mean, it absolutely. sets us free from, you know, being dragged down by that. Yeah, it really does. And somebody said that uh, forgiveness sets a prisoner free. And in the end, you discover that that prisoner was yourself. Yeah. Because when you hold on to that kind of resentment in your relationship, in your marriage, mm -hmm. it does no good for anybody and especially for yourself. So set a prisoner free with a little bit of forgiveness. Yeah. And it's a process. There's something mystical about it. You can intend to forgive, but you can't control the actual steps toward right. that. You, right. you set yourself on a path to forgiveness and kind of trust God to meet you on that path. Absolutely. <laughs>